Hey guys, this will be a quick little one. Uh, basically, it's just trigger stops on a 360, although the process is pretty much the same on the Xbox One, as long as you don't want the hidden stops. Um, Scuff does something pretty interesting and unique for those. It's going to be pretty difficult to replicate at home, but I am going to try with some of this uh, square tube as soon as I can get the drill uh, bit and tap that I need to try to replicate it. Um, but today we're just going to do trigger stops on a 360. Uh, with this one, you don't really even need to take the controller apart if you're careful, but the main concept is um, this is a 360 trigger that I've just removed from a spare controller, and what you want to get is some of these socket head scap crew screws. Um, they look like this. You can get them in other finishes like uh, black. They're basically the same exact thing. Um, these are M4-70 by 12, um, so that's the number of threads and the size that it is and everything like that. Um, so when you check the size on them, you'll see that they're like 3.7 millimeters uh, wide. That's the size, that's the M4 size of it. And uh, so you need a drill bit that's about the same size. I've got one chucked up in the uh, drill over there, so we're gonna do that next. But the basic concept is you need to, on the trigger, um, before you take it out of the controller, just get a marker or wrap this part in some tape and figure out where the firing point is. And what you'll do then is you would draw a line uh, where the firing point is. So we'll just uh, simulate that. So let's assume that I just, this was still in the controller and I was pulling it back and I figured out that it fired when the trigger reached like this point here. You can't drill on that point because the head of the screw will actually come out around it. So what you need to do then is come to the head of your screw, um, put it down on top of it like that and it actually comes up right to the edge. Um, so really then you just need to Get the distance between the line you made and the edge of the controller and find the midway point or even just a little bit further so that the screw is centered there so that's actually not too hard um, what you do there is you just figure out the, the width of your screw or you can actually just measure it and then here it's actually um, seven it's like seven millimeters so the half of that is like 3.5 millimeters so um, and you could use US on this too if you really wanted to but you would just come in here and find um, three and a half on there mark it um, and you'd be good to go so right about there which is you know it's, it's actually pretty easy to eyeball so what I'm going to do is go over the drill, um, drill this out. I'm not actually going to tap this one because the drill bit I'm using is slightly undersized. So the threads will actually just uh, will just bite on their own. But if you do have a, um, the right size drill and a tap, you can actually just drill that and tap it. And then um, it'll put threads in the plastic for you. And the inside of these are actually, um, they're fairly stout as far as things go. So it won't be very hard to actually add the trigger. Got it uh, chucked up in the drill here. You can see I basically already kind of got it set up. I got a little vise. You can do this with a hand drill, but you might need to move up from smaller uh, drill bits in size as you need to. Um, but I use the drill press because I've got it and it works pretty well for me. This is the exact thick thickness of the inside of the threads, so it'll work out nicely. Um, and I'll drill this out and we'll be good. Um, if you don't have that, you want a drill and maybe another person help hold the controller while you drill it. Um, and what I've done here is I've actually taken a punch and lightly scored a dot in the middle where I want to go so it'll help guide the drill bit to where it needs to be instead of walking off the line. Um, there's a benefit to using a smaller drill bit for that because it'll probably bite easier um, and it'll let you through there just as well. So um, let me go ahead and plug in. I'll go. Drill 
drilled out. Basically, what I'm going to do is uh, take my X-Acto knife, clean up that hole, and then we'll put the screw in it. So um, let me get that out, and we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry about the dryer again. It seems to be whenever I uh, work on these videos, uh, the laundry seems to be running. So I'm um, just cleaning some of this up here by trimming away some of the plastic. Um, it's fairly simple. Razor blade for work for this. You don't have to have an X-Acto knife. Um, it's just what I like to use. Um, yeah. So basically this just goes right in there like that. get resistance at some point when it starts biting and you might need a bit so the other thing you could do is take a saw and cut down the screw that's what a trigger stop looks like when it's finished um, the only catches you might or gotchas you might run into is on the inside of there there's that little plastic thing sticking up and that's where the spring goes for the controller itself Dad? so you might have to cut the screw down smaller um, so that the spring will still fit and that's why I usually take the triggers out whenever I do it. Another easy way that you can cut a bolt is just by using the bolt cutter function on um, one of these. You can just stick it in and uh, let's see if I can do this one handed while still holding the camera in view. Do that until it, uh, you hear it clip um, and that will um, eventually cut the, uh, the actual bolt apart. Um, you can see here it's it's most of the way there and uh, aha. and now it's uh, it's a lot smaller so it'll fit a little bit more nicely into the cavity there to play with. This. And there you can see one that's been cut down nice and neat gives you the actual nice trigger stop um, and your springs will still work fine. If you wanted to uh, mess with the tension of your um, springs, you can actually stretch them out or add um, something to sit on top of that, um, like little tiny gum bands or washers or something like that, and it'll make the springs stiffer or looser as you desire. Thanks, guys.